だーっとわんにゃーままぎーてばば。OK, everybody, Christ is risen, Christos e n e s t i Christo a resucitado, Christos vos crece, el m e s i c o m Christi u n i o l Christus resurrexit, harisutosu fukatsu. OK, so, g o n n a try to finish the Lion King now. So, when Tanner saw On my fails on the video for part one, he asked me, Are you using the analog stick or the D pad? I was using the analog stick. On Genesis, it was the D pad. So this time, I'm going to use the D pad and see if that makes a difference. <laughs> All right. So then, let's begin. So, a bit of trivia. This was one of the first games I got for Genesis. On my birthday, I got the Genesis. It was bundled with Sonic 2, and I also got Super Street Fighter 2, this, and Spider Man X Men Arcade's Revenge. And oh man, is that a difficult game! I don't, Spider Man X Men Arcade's Revenge might just be the hardest game I've ever played. <laughs> Very difficult. Okay, so you can grab up here, and the rock will just slide by. Yeah, so the hardest thing about this level is the rocks the hyenas throw at you, so you just need to watch your health on that. Just flip over the porcupines. Boom, boom. Okay. Right. So far, using the D pad seems to be working. Yes,、yeah, so、just keep moving and the rock shouldn't be a problem. Boom. Boom. Climb up here. Fall down, fall down. Checkpoint. Run. One of those guys. Just,、uh. And jump. 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 <laughs> It's the jump.、Uh, oh well. These guys. Boom. Boom. Up here. Boom. 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 And that's the level. If you never come back, we'll kill ya! Alright. Bug toss. Seriously. <sighs> Oh well. Alright. Hakuna Matata. My favorite song from the movie? My least favorite level in this game. You'll see why when we get there. So when we start off, you're going to think, oh, this isn't so bad. You don't seem to be having that too much of a difficult time with this. Oh, you'll see. You will see. Alright. Stupid frog. So just bounce on there. Kill the spiders. And there's that. Jump here. Up here. Grab your one up. Just keep jumping. Ah. Boom. 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 Grab the checkpoint. I could get that bug for a health refill, but I don't want to climb up the rocks again. Boom, boom. Come over here. Alright. So you go left, left, right, left to get the health upgrade. Alright, we're 
we're about to come up on my least favorite part of the entire game. Alright. So, there's a, this part, you have to jump on all those logs to climb up a huge waterfall. And it's really frustrating because it's really easy to slip and fall down and die. So I'm probably going to go quiet here because I'm going to need my full concentration because, again, this is my least favorite part of the entire game. I just hate it. Uh, see, they all follow a different speed, so it's real easy just to slip and die. But fortunately, since I already got the health upgrade, I can take a different path and skip some of it. Yeah, so you just come down over here, down here, go to the right. Alright, and you've already skipped part of it. See, with the they default at different rates, so it's easy to make some progress and then lose it because some are falling faster than the others. So, just keep moving. So you feel like you're not making any progress at all because as soon as you jump, they move to the streets, they fall down, and you're past where you were. Uh, games don't tend to do crap like this anymore. Pointless platform jumping. If I go over that way and get it, fine. If not, I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. up there and then the, they fall at different rates. Get close and then... I I didn't die. Uh, it just sucks because I was so close. Uh. And back down here. <laughs> like I said, this part sucks! <laughs> so I was almost there, and then screwed up on one of them, and that's it. <laughs> okay, just wait for one of the slower ones to come down. Like I said, real easy to mess up here. <laughs> Saw how close I was, and then one missed jump, and boom. <sighs> okay, just gonna stop for a second up here to, um, whew. All right, just come over here. Cool. Grab the bug toss bug, and come back over here because we don't want to do that again. Jump over here, kill the frog. Jump up, boom. We have full health, roll down here. All right, there. That's the checkpoint, so we're past the waterfall. The game gets easier from here. 
Time to fight the boss. There's a couple ways you can do this. So he's going to throw stuff at you so you can roll into that and put, bounce him back at him. Or you can also jump over them or on them. Eventually he'll get tired of throwing them. Then he'll stand up and do this ground pound. Ah! <laughs> and he whacked me into the water. Okay, so I'm going to try... I think I'm just going to stick with rolling into stuff. I think that'll be quicker. I don't really have room to do it here, so just... Ah. Alright, then climb up. There we go. All right. now and we have a new attack yeah now we can slash people with our claws awesome I really like the music on this level right, so cheetah we can jump on it and then just slash boom over here slash to the vines now the monkeys you can roar no fall Seriously? And here you just smash the slash button, get rid of all the cheetahs. You can throw one and go through the gate and skip this part, but I've never done it and I'm not going to try because I don't want to dying so I'll just I'll just be patient and slash him. Be careful if you touch a rock while it's rolling you will die. So always stay back when you cut him loose. range. That's right, you better run because when I get you, that's what's going to happen. Haha. <laughs> Drop down here, jump up on this one. Try to continue. Again, stay back. Wait till it stops rolling. Bug hunt. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. 
He'll open the way for us. Oh, you want to play? Let's play. Kill you, kill you. Range for the roar, huh? That's okay. I can get you like this. And again, be careful. Go up here, slash the vines away, and come up here, and come up here. And come up here. Oh, I'm just. Well, slash you because I was gonna roar, but you're doing that, so. <laughs> slash. Come back here, and we extend our roar gauge. Up. Yeah, this is the end of the level, we just have one more of these gates. Finish off these cheetahs. You must take your place in the circle of life. Whatever you say, Darth. Ah, oh, dang it! Okay, watch out for the dripping lava, that can be a problem here. Just slash the cheetah. Okay, time carefully, so to avoid both the geyser and dripping. Watch. The bats are the most annoying part of this level. Avoid them, because they'll give you the commie virus. You can jump on them and then just maul them. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, uh -oh what? There we go. Yeah, the bats, the bats, and the lava drip are the worst part of this level. Cause those will screw you up. You'll be doing fine, and then one of those. One of those will get you and knock you off to where you don't want to be. Boom. Oh, boom. There. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> and again, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Wait for the right timing. <laughs> Being an adult lion does have its advantages. <sighs> okay, so we just come here in the secret passage, we extend our roar gauge, and there's a health bug in here too, so recover some health. Come on, come on. Yep. <laughs> jump, jump. All right. There's two passages you can take. You can take this one and get the checkpoint. Or take the next one over to get the bug hunt and a one up. We'll be doing this one, and if we die, we'll do the other one. Just 
take it slow, because if that thing touches you while it falls, you will die. So avoid the stalactites. Not even gonna try it. Just gonna get the bat, come up here, ignore the hyena, kill the cheetah. Come on. Hop on your makeshift raft again. Kill that bat. Get up here. Okay. And when we come up here, there's gonna be a boulder chasing us, and if it touches us, we die. So we have to outrun a boulder here. There, okay. Jump down on another raft. Okay. We just take a couple cheetahs to knock out. There we go. Up here. Watch out for dripping lava. Like that. <laughs> Cover health. And checkpoint. And uh, this right here is the last part of the level. Ah. So you just stand on one that's not erupting. And avoid the falling rocks. four times, you'll be capped. Our goal is to cap all four of them. But you need to be careful, because um, if you jump over while one of the caps is falling down, you will be crushed and you will die. See, now that it's capped, it won't erupt anymore. And then you just top on this, and that's the end of the level. Alright, bug hunt. Cool, let it continue. Okay, this is the second to last level, and it's a maze. So first thing we're going to do is go in this middle one. We're going to jump on this guy to maul him. There. Knock those two out. There's one up here to get. Here. And final health upgrade. And you do have to kill all the hyenas before it will let you go through the caves. You have to kill every hyena on a screen to move forward. Alright, so we're going to go back now to where we were. And then we're going to go through here. Let's go back to the beginning level. Alright, so now we got that way, we can proceed. Take the furthest one to the right. There. Go through here. Up 
here. Oh, come on. There, go through here. Oh, come on. Nonsense. Ugh, I need a bug soon or I'm going to die. All right. Here's another multiple choice path. We want to get the cave that's right below us. Uh, probably have to get, I'm probably going to die here because I don't have that much health. Uh, yep. There was a full health bug right there. But we don't have to take that detour anymore, so we'll just go straight to where we need to go. Oh. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. So, don't know if you've noticed, but uh, I seem to be doing a lot better than I was in part one, so maybe it was the whole analog versus D-pad thing. Thank you for that, Tanner. <laughs> Here through this. All right, here we. Here's where we were. All right, and we have pretty much full health. So, don't want to get come on both sides if you can help it. Yeah, but you can't always help it. So there. All right, so come over here and go through this one. Jump on. <sighs> and maul him to death. <laughs> Love being able to maul. Being big Simba is awesome. <laughs> uh, am I going to get this guy to come down here? Hmm? There he goes. Haha. <laughs> you fool, you fell for one of the classic blunders. Ah, oh, seriously? <laughs> okay. Classic blunders. There we go. Take the one on the left. This is the last screen. There we go. Alright, here we are. The last level. We have to fight Scar three times in this level. One's right here at the beginning. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. So, hit him until he sticks his tongue out, then throw him.
How's that lightning starting fires? There's no vegetation on these rocks. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Okay. Just with the lightning. Maul this guy. Oh, really? Ugh. No! Ah. Dang it. Alright, try this again. Yeah, that's right, you run away. You killed my father. Prepare to die. How many more Princess Bride references can I fit in this video? The fires burn in set spots, so once you reach a certain spot on the screen, it will either start or go out. onto a rock. Alright, so we're just gonna finish this guy real quick. Apparently when this movie was released, there were some um, zoologists who had a problem with it because it made hyenas look bad or something. So people will get offended over anything. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Okay, I want to replenish my health. So if you climb up this. Full health. You die, you back up. You die, you get you back up. Not even gonna bother. I wanna get to Scar. And hope to finally beat him after all these years. This is a lightning puzzle, because again the fires are scripted depending on where you are. See, they go out when you get to one, start when you get to another. Alright, here we are.
Yep. Go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Mm -hmm. All he's doing is laughing now, so we should be getting to the end then, right? Yes! That's it! That's the game! Alright! Ha ha ha! I wish I could go back in time and show this to first grade me. <laughs> I want to redeem myself, so I'm going to um, restart and uh, go through those um, first four levels again, since it was clearly the controller. I know it's cliche to blame your controller, but in this case it really was. <laughs> and options, easy, start. It stops. I'm not going to do the bonus levels, I'm just going to run through with the regular levels real quick. I'm still going to get the power-ups. Just so you remember where the power-ups are in case you play this. Because you want to get those um, gauge extenders. Especially the health ones. Gauge extended. Again, just stay up here and can't get you. Everything the light. All right. Now, hopefully, this time the logs won't give me trouble since I'm using the D-pad instead of the analog stick. And I'm doing a lot better. <laughs> Boop. Alright, first ostrich, pretty easy. First part of the ostrich. Climb up the hippo, and this hippo, and this hippo, and second ostrich part. It's up to you, they don't tell you, so you just watch and react. Boom. Duck. Jump. Jump. Duck. Jump. Duck. Duck. Goose. That's how easy it should have been the first time. <laughs> Alright, 
and that's the level. Yeah, that's how long it should have taken the first time. <laughs> Alright, and again, trick these two into jumping in the same spot. And you can get them both. Don't need to go over there because I have full health. Again, don't get that bug. It's bad. It'll take away some of your health. I'm not doing the bonus rounds. So I just wait for this guy. Just jump. 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 That guy. Full health. Here, 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 here. Buzzard. Now, let's try this. Ah. Oh well. There's another way to get up there. That's how to, you get the blue bug, but fortunately there's another way to get it if you miss that jump like I did. Get the buzzard. I guess that is uh, boiling water from the geysers, like in the birdie boiler part of the movie. It's not green goo or acid or whatever. Okay. Ah, dang it. And we got an extended roar gauge. So that's how you get that one. I didn't get it when I did it the first time, so there you go. Alright, so let's go finish the level. Ah. Seriously? <laughs> okay, another fail count. We started as many as <laughs> there were in the last one, I believe. <laughs> that was ridiculous how many times I died in the last one. Dang it. Pull that one down and roll that one away. Jump over right here. Get my health. Just gonna ignore them. Be on my way. That guy. Not gonna bother with continue because I'll just be quitting after the next stage. Alright. Just three more hyenas to fight. We're done with the level. More. Here he is. All right. Stampede. Everybody talks about how traumatic Mufasa's death this part was, but um, I still think the saddest animated death from a child's movie, Littlefoot's mother. Go ahead and nap me, I don't care. Seriously? Apparently this damn still giving me trouble. Seriously. <laughs> 
Sounds like this one can go here. Boom. Five. Here's the end of the low where the rocks on the left don't even bother you. And the little beasts don't come over here at this part, so. Alright. Okay, so there's the level. Kill him. Okay. So I feel like I've redeemed myself now. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, share, comment, all that good stuff. Again, uh, putting up a card for in the end screen. Link to a video on Tanner's channel, like his stuff, subscribe, all that stuff. Don't know what I'm going to do for next gaming, but um, just have to wait and see. Alright, later guys.